Okay, so we solve for our external forces, and I'm just going to choose any point. I'm going to choose what to me is the simplest point with the fewest forces acting on it, and that's point D. And I can say at point D, the summation of the forces in the x direction have to equal to zero, and the summation of the forces in the y direction have to equal to zero. So let me do a free body diagram of point D. So here's point D, and I know that I have a reactionary force at D, RDX, which is 1,500 pounds acting in. I also know that I have some other force coming from BD, so I'm going to draw that coming into it just on a hunch. And I know that I've got another force, and I'm going to put that pulling away from it just for grins, and that's the vector that goes from D to E. So I'm going to call that the vector DE. So you'll see from D to E. So there's my point. Now a pretty simple diagram here, and I can get some immediate uh, results from this. And I can say that if the summation of the forces in the y direction equals to zero, well the only force in the y direction is DE, isn't it? So I could say that DE has to equal to zero. That makes sense, and that's easy. Now under that same idea, if I look at BD, I can see that the summation of the forces in the x direction have to equal to zero. Uh, so what I can say is BD, which is a positive plus a minus 1,500 pounds, have to equal to zero, or BD equals to 1,500 pounds. Now the way I've drawn that, that's positive, and I drew it because it's going to the right. Now I can come back over to my diagram now, and let me do a little bit of updating as we move along through this. And I'm going to do this uh, in a yellow pen, and what I've said now is BD, the vector BD, is pushing in at 1,500 pounds. My vector DE is zero pounds. Now if it's pushing in on one end, and I'll put my units on here, I know that it's got to be doing the same on the other side. Has to be. Or the vector or the, uh, the member would be moving. So I just solved for a couple forces at B. So it's pretty straightforward. We'll move on to our next uh, point, and let's do point E. Uh, what we're also going to say is at point E, uh, when I look at it, I'm going to draw a free body diagram once again. So here's my point E. I know I have a zero vector coming into it. Uh, I just found that zero vector right here. So I don't really need to put that on it. But I do know that I have the vector CE leaving. I'm going to put that into tension. I also know that I have the vector REX, which is 1,500 pounds. I know that I have a vector REY, which is 1,000 pounds, and I have a vector BE pulling down at a 45 degree angle. So with all that, uh, I can basically take a look at uh, my first two components here, and let's look in the in the y direction because that's the easiest one for me because I've only got this thousand pounds going up and then BE going down and I can redraw BE into a vector format here that says I've got a component going down and I have a component going over and this is B E Y B E X and I've got an angle here of 45 degrees so that makes pretty much sense to me. Uh, and I can look at this and I can say a couple of different angles I could look at it. I could look at the angle coming down, which is 45, and that's 45. It doesn't really matter how I do it. So I'll look at this as 45 degrees, and we'll forget that last one. So what I can say here is a couple of different rules. If I look at this as the angle, this is basically going to be my opposite, and I'm going to redraw it right over here. And I'm going to say, here's my vector BE. Here is the component that goes over in BEX. Here's a component that goes down 
in BEY. And there's my 45 degrees. And I know from my trigonometry that the sine of theta is going to be equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So in this instance, that's going to be equal to BEY divided by the vector BE. You go, hmm, well, that's a good thing to know, but I don't really know what uh, BE is or BEY. Well, I'm going to take that and look again at my up here at my diagram and say, you know what? I've only got a single set of factors that are working in the y direction. So I've got BEY and 1,000 pounds up. So I can start out and say the summation of forces in the y direction have to equal to zero. Therefore, uh, BEY, which is a negative because it's going down, plus 1,000 pounds, which is positive going up, has to equal to zero, or BEY has to equal to 1,000 pounds. Now I can take that and come right up into that formula right there. So we're going to come back in green down below here and solve this for BEY. Uh, knowing that, I can also move my formula around. I can say that the vector BE then becomes equal to BEY divided by the sine of 45 degrees. And all I did was substitute it, moved this underneath and that on top with a little algebra. Uh, plugging this back in, what I end up with is a thousand pounds, which is BEY, divided by the sine of 45 degrees equals to BE. Plugging that into my handy dandy calculator, and I get. BEY is equal to 1,000, 100, or sorry, 1,400, write that a little better, and 14 pounds. And I'm going to drop off the 0.21, so just calling it 1414. So that's BE. Now I can also find uh, BEX pretty easily now also because I can say that BEX is equal to, again by my cosine relationship, is going to be equal to BE times the cosine of 45 degrees. It's a big degree symbol, sorry about that. And that's going to be a negative because it's going to be going left here. And that resolves itself down to say that B E X is equal to minus a thousand pounds. So that's pretty handy to know uh, because we're going to pick this up and now looking at our diagram, what I have, and I'll write these in yellow, is I've got a thousand pounds And I've got a thousand pounds. And now I can look at my my uh, vectors and say, hey, what do I have acting in X? So let's come over here in purple and say all of the forces acting at point E in the X direction have to equal to zero. Therefore, I have got 1,500 pounds acting to the right, so that would be 1,500 pounds plus I have got 1,000 pounds acting to the left, or a negative, negative 1,000 pounds, plus I don't know what CE is yet, plus CE and I'm going to say that's negative from the vector, have to equal to zero. So what that boils down to say is that uh, CE is going to equal to 500 pounds, and that's going to be 
to the left or negative. So now I can come back over here and update my little diagram and this is going to be 500 pounds and I've solved. So pretty good shape. Let's update the overall diagram with what we found here. So we found BE and what we said is BE is pushing actually sorry is coming this way pulling away and my BE is 1414 and I've also found my CE CE is going this way and that way and that value is 500 pounds and my diagrams updated next up let's move over to point C